So I have a pot of boiling or previously boiled water I just took right off the stove. And to show you how hot it is, I'm just going to stick this little sensor in here. And we are at 200 degrees. So I pulled up Cooler Master and we're at 76 degrees. Water is at 200.8 degrees. Now let's drop it in and see what happens. So the temperature is kind of taking a little bit of time to warm up on the phone. It's only 76 degrees. There we go, 99. I don't know why it's bubbling everywhere. I made sure the phone was snapped on the back, so it should be water resistant at least not sure if hot water does affect that or not and as you can kind of see there's like steam going everywhere so I hope it's not on the lens let me clean it off And previously I put a Galaxy S6 Active into the boiling water and like at around 150 degrees it just kind of shut off. Like Samsung had some built in software that basically limited all um, applications running except the most basic things. And this is the um, Moto G third generation and it's basically running Cyan Engine mod which is like stock Android. So I'm not sure if stock Android or CyanogenMod has those types of cutoff features. But it seems like right now it's kind of just leveling off at 142, but I'm still showing that the water is 187. If you can see that right there. See 187. Boop, and then the screen just shut off. I thought I had the timeout set pretty long so I'm not sure what happened there. Let's see if we can fish it out without burning ourselves. Yeah, it's not turning on. So at this point the Galaxy S6 Active is much more impressive in terms of the heat resistance because it looks like this thing just shut right off. Yeah, it's not turning on. Oh wait, there you go. It just kind of shut off. It's super laggy. Oh yeah, it's super slow. Look at that. <laughs> it's surprisingly not that hot. If I hold it very lightly, it's okay. Oh, I felt it vibrate, so, ah, yeah, it's hot right there on the back. The, the metal right there is very hot.
Yeah, it basically keeps shutting off. So, it seems like 140, 150 degrees is what kills the device. So I don't really want to put it in there anymore. It's already we already kind of found the killing point. I don't really do unnecessary testing here at this channel unless you know it's warranted. But look, it just shut off again. I imagine if it cools off, it will be fine. In the back. The back does get water in it, but it has the seals to keep it water resistant in all the important spots. So I think we're good there. And when I press down on the screen, like it's it's hot. There's no lie about that. So what I'm going to do is just wait a little bit. I'll come back in like five minutes and see if we can turn it on. So right now it is 1040. So I'm going to come back at 1045 and see. Okay, it's been like three minutes, but I'm dying to see if this thing is going to turn back on. I would imagine smartphones would cool down pretty quickly if you take it out of boiling water and then put it in their surrounding environment. Like it's a pretty drastic change. Oh yeah, the animation right now is smooth. That's what it normally should look like. So I'm feeling pretty good right now. Yep. Looks good. Scrolls quick. Camera works. So I think we're good to go there. So to answer your question, the Moto G third generation will survive boiling water but it does take certain precautions by shutting itself off to prevent further damage so that's very good there um, it didn't like limit any type of resources though it just kind of shut off without notice but if your phone's that hot i think you would kind of be aware that you need to take it out of that environment so in a situation where if you left it in your car in the middle of the summer it would probably have a good chance of surviving and that's it guys i will see you guys later and I will put in the description below the link to the Galaxy S6 Active boiling water test so you can see a comparison to that as well. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe to my channel because that helps me out a lot. It just helps my videos get found and get more popular over the internet. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.